hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn about if web page contains action in power automate desktop so please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel please subscribe it so let's get started in power automate desktop inside the browser automation there is an action which is called as if web page contains right in this action you can see that it will give you an option to choose the browser instance right and then here you have four options to check if a web page contains an element or a web page does not contain an element or a web page contains a text or it does not contain a text right so these are four options available that you can use to check if a web page contains an element or text or not right and here you have an option to select the ui element right so here you can click on add ui element to capture an element and once you have selected you know captured an element then you can use the select and then this element will be selected just like this and there you have an option to you know you can click on on error and here you can specify what should happen if there is any error while executing this action right so you can in the new rule you can specify set a variable or you can click on run subflow and you can choose which subflow you want to run when there is any error and here when you click on continue flow run here you can specify what should happen should it go to the next action should it repeat for it or should it go to a specific label but when you choose go to a specific label then here you have to set a label right for example what i will do is I will go to the flow control and here I will specify the label and label name I will give as label 1 right and then I will choose if web page contains and then I will go to the on error and then click continue to flow run and then go to label and there here you can select that label so if there is any error it will go to this label and will start the execution now it says that browser instance cannot be empty so because we did not initialize any variable any browser here that is why it is giving this error right okay so i will delete this and then in, i will go to the browser automation here i have an option to launch new chrome i'll choose this and then from here I will choose attached to running instance and then here I have three options right so one is by title right you can specify the title of that web page and also you can specify the URL right and then here you have to specify the tab URL okay so what I will do is this time I will use by URL okay and then I will go to the web page and then I will copy this URL I will go back to the power automate desktop I will paste it and here I have an option to you know specify the timeout so I can make it 15 seconds if I want to you know let's say it is waiting for this page to load and if it does not you know load in 15 seconds then it will timeout and then the browser instance will be stored in the browser variable here again you have on error action where you can specify new rule so if you want to set a variable you can set it or if you want to run a subflow you can choose the subflow right and then here also you have an option to continue flow run so here you can choose go to next action repeat action and go to label 
and if you want to retry this action to multiple times you can specify how many times you want to retry it and at how much time you want to wait perform the retry so you can specify 5 seconds 10 seconds 60 seconds whatever is required in your scenario okay so i will click on clear all which means it will make it will put it in the default position then i will click on return to parameters and then i will click on save and then i will double click on if web page contains and from here now you can see that i can choose the browser variable and let's say here what i want to do is i want to check if web page contains that element right and then i will go to the ui element and then i will click on add ui element now here i can select or capture the element for which i want to check so i will capture this free code and tools i will press ctrl and left mouse click element is captured and then i will click on save so it says that form has errors i will you can see here that on error is in red color i will click on it and here what i will do is i will click on clear all right because i do not want to specify or any action to perform if there is any error i will click on save and then i will choose message box i will come here and use the display message and i will say that element is found okay and if the element is not found i will use else action and i will copy this action and paste it here so you can just use ctrl c and ctrl v to copy and paste the action as well and here you can say element is not found okay so now what i will do is i will run the bot it says that element is found i will click on ok and i will go back to the power automate desktop so the next action you can use the contains text right and let's say i can say hello if it contains hello then it should show this element is found if it does not contains that text then it will show element is not found now if i will run the bot you will see that it will say element is not found right i will click on ok and let's say because on the web page here on the web page you can see that it has free code and tools i will copy it and go back to the power automate desktop and i will paste it i will click on save and when i will run the bot you will see that it will say that element is found right so this is how you can use if web page contains action in power automate desktop if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day